I imagine most of us have either heard the story of how Karen and Phil met, or you have read the written version that Phil provided on their wedding website entitled, A Match Made in Heaven on Train 667. <laughs> Philip, today is the day. I am so thankful that you had the courage to ask to sit next to me on Amtrak train number 667. Even though I immediately put my headphones in, I promise you left a great and lasting impression. This was a very, I feel like this happened a lot. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> Dear Karen, in a few hours, you'll walk down the aisle and we'll be standing at the altar together. Just like the rehearsal, I probably won't stop smiling the entire ceremony. You make me so happy, and when we're holding hands in front of our family and friends, they'll see it too. I can say that I'm, I'm happy that you took that train from 30th Street Station, where you took a chance and sat down next to Karen, and that's where all this started. Only God knew that I would meet my best friend, my confidant, and the love of my life on a train. Now here we are, about to start the next chapter of our lives together. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you at the church. You always know how to make me laugh, and you have the biggest heart. Today is going to be absolutely wonderful, and we are blessed to have such loving families and friends to surround us. You are going to look so handsome in your dress blues, and I am eagerly awaiting meeting you at the front of the sanctuary in my dress. Those of us who know Karen well should not be at all surprised that she would meet her future husband in a way that could easily be made into a movie musical. As I was reading Phil's description, I half expected the next line to say that the other passengers on the train suddenly began singing and dancing, and a guitar appeared in Philip's arms, and the seats in front of Karen flipped open to reveal a keyboard, and the train was filled with a lively and happy true love song. For all intents and purposes, that might as well be what happened. Karen and I grew up together on the farm, just uh, a few feet apart. Karen is not the sister I never had. She has always been my sister. I knew Phil was different from the start. He immediately took on the boisterous Myers clan and fit right in. Just like all of us, Phil is a family man, a loving big brother to his younger siblings. Phil, I know that you will take care of our Karen and love her the way that she deserves. Any man who has watched more Disney movies than Karen is worthy of her. I know that Karen will be a wonderful wife and friend to you throughout your lives as she has been to me. We have grown together as a couple over the past three and a half years, and I cherish the many memories we've shared thus far. I 
I hope you take time to relax, breathe, and take in all of the special moments. Thank you for being my best friend and loving me unconditionally. I will see you at 2.30 p.m. at the church. Love, Karen.